Right, this is the the cis cooling pump that we stripped down yesterday. And even a scooter payment. We've got to do an experiment, that's right. And you've got to be my assistant, aren't you? Yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to pump that water and into here. And I've got soap sauce. We're not going to soak Josh. No, no. soak him. Soak him. So we soak. know, okay, soak. we know that five litres of water weighs exactly five kilos. Yep. So Matthew's going to switch a pump on in a minute. And I'm going to fill this up. Yeah. And whenever get that, that gets to five kilos, and we're on. going to stop the watch and we'll work out exactly how much it pumps at once. Oh. It's meant to be a 300 litre per hour pump, so that equates to five litres per minute. So if it takes a minute to do this, that's perfect. But we will see. Right, back over the camera and tripod and stuff. See you in a minute. Therefore, a cis cooling SC30A pump pumps at 200 litres per hour. You have to bear in mind though this is a six month old pump. It advertises a maximum 300 litres per hour. I would assume this means in perfect conditions. Well this was done in better than perfect conditions. It was good clean Scottish tap water, zero additives, a slightly negative head, aiding the pump. Yet, it still only managed 200 litres per hour. If you check out my pump head test, you will also see that actual pump head is 1.48 metres as opposed to the advertised 1.9 metres. I will link that video now. I will contact Syscooling and question this. If they can provide me with a sample pump, I will rerun the test with a new pump and also use the pump in the computer for six months and retest it after that time. I will post the outcome. Again, thanks for watching and I'm sure I'll be posting more videos soon.